Hello, it's Wednesday the 30th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So it's budget day today. That will come on the back of yesterday's news that government borrowing reached a post-election record. Not ideal for the new Chancellor, but it will not change her plan. Chancellor Reeves wants to balance the country's books by raising taxes and borrowing to fund longer term infrastructure projects and of course to shore up the NHS. Or that's the plan anyway. It's one thing laying out the fundraising plan, it's quite another to deploy all the funding efficiently and effectively. That's where the real challenge lies. Following the public sector pay deals that she struck in the summer, she plans to add more wage inflation by raising the minimum wage by 6 or 7 per cent next year. That is to deliver against the promise of a genuine living wage for workers, but it will be a blow to the SME sector. The wage inflation pressure will no doubt be discussed by the MPC at their meeting next week, where a rate cut still very much hangs in the balance. They will have been encouraged by the inflation data, but where that dropped to 1.7% in October, expectation is for a significant increase this month. Sterling rallied yesterday. That was driven by the idea the Fed may cut rates next week. We peaked around 1.3015 against the dollar, but Friday's payroll data will likely determine if we can maintain those gains. So over in the US, it's all about the employment data ahead of non-farm Friday. Yesterday, we had Jolt's job opening data that fell slightly to 7.44 million in October. That was down from September and it also missed forecast. However, no doubt boosted by the election campaigning, consumer confidence has surged. The Consumer Confidence Index reports sentiment for uh, economic performance over the next six months, and that rose to 108.7 in October, up from 99.2 in September. Long may that last. We have inflation data due today. The Fed's favoured personal consumption expenditure. That's forecast to have fallen to 2.1%, down from 2.8% last month, which will add to the case for a rate cut. And that helped drive the dollar index down to about 104.20 yesterday. We kick off this morning around 130.05 against the dollar, 120.20 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108.20 on the open. That's it from me. Back tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.